What's going on everyone? Anthony here with Real Life Bowling coming at you with a tip on how you can continue to practice at home during the COVID-19 lockdown. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you like myself have seen uh, going through Facebook and things like that. People are taking their bowling balls home, they're throwing them on carpet, into pillows, uh, doing foul line drills, uh, even going as far as to build their own lanes. Now that is fantastic, but that's not always a practical option for a lot of us. Uh, my, in my situation, I live on the second story of an apartment building, so I can't take my bowling ball home and throw it around. I might get evicted. Uh, so I'm gonna show you something that I came up with with an idea that I got from J.R. Raymond to help all of you continue to practice at home. So let's go check it out. All right guys, so this is what I came up with. This is my at-home practice bowling ball. Uh, so I'm going to go over everything that I did in order to make this so you guys can go about doing this at home yourself. Uh, so what the ball is is a like about an 8-inch foam craft ball. You can get this at the craft section in Walmart. Um, so like I said, I saw J.R. Raymond do this, so I kind of just went off of his idea. Um, all, the only thing that I did differently was I took uh, these 3-ounce uh, lead fishing sinkers and I placed them at 4 points on the bowling ball. So, what, uh, so what, how I did that was I took this dowel rod. And I took in the middle where I wanted my hand to lay, and I went right through the center just like that, all the way through the bowling ball. And then I came perpendicular to that, same with the dowel rod, came in through here, and went to the other side. I didn't measure any of this out, I kind of just eyeballed the whole thing. It's not, it doesn't have to be precise, it's just you can get your hand in it and try that out. So after I, uh, I made those holes, I took a screwdriver right here, I hollowed out those points at all four sides, and then I uh, stuck the sinkers in there and placed tape over them. Then I proceeded to tape the entire bowling ball with black duct tape. You can see here just regular, average, black duct tape. And then I put a strip where I was going to lay my hand uh, around in a different color so you can see the rotation on the bowling ball. Very helpful for when you're practicing uh, different releases at home. So then, uh, with the, the weight being right here, I placed my hand over the center kind of eyeballed about where I wanted my thumb to be, uh, made the mark, and it took me quite a while, but I was able to hollow out a, uh, uh, a makeshift thumb hole here. And then the way that I got this to fit my hand as best as it can is once I had that thumb hole, I took my fingers and I laid them over the bowling ball in a comfortable manner, and I, I marked right where the crease of my finger was. So I made a, a punch hole right where the crease of my finger was, and I repeated that process over here on my ring finger. So once you have those roughly gauged out, you just have to you know, hollow them out and you can get them, like I said, close, doesn't need to fit super well, um, but definitely will be able to get your hand into it. I recommend doing this in a sink or something like that because as you are doing this, a lot of this is going to flake off and make a mess. So if you can do it in a sink or on a towel or something so you don't make a huge mess. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how we would apply this to uh, foul line and release drills. Check it out. All right, guys, now we're going to test out this at home foul line drill bowling ball. I'm going to show you the two types of releases that I like to practice. The one being where I keep my hand behind it and roll more up the back of it. The other being where I get my hand inside of it and create a little bit more rotation. These are all accomplished by doing a foul line drill. Uh, if you've never done a foul line drill, they're very simple. I'm going to demonstrate here rolling the bowling ball into the pillow. And then we're going to show some slow motion video of what those releases look like so you can see the difference and then practice them on your own. So for those of you that have never done a foul line drill, what you're going to do is you're going to get down in your finished position, get this ball as close to your ankle as you can, one or two easy swings, whatever release orientation that you like, and then you're just going to let go of the bowling ball nice and smooth here. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video on this DIY foul line drill bowling ball. Kind of just random idea I threw it together, sitting around doing nothing. So if you're anything like me, I know you miss the lanes very, very much. So in the meantime, hopefully this will keep you guys sharp and ready to go once we're eventually allowed to bowl again. If you have any questions on how this was made, please leave a comment down below. We'll make sure that we answer those questions for you. And uh, like I said, guys, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hope you enjoyed. See you again next time.